Here we are in week 16, April 15th to the 21st of sales for video games and platforms in Japan. And this sales data comes from Fimitsu that we're about to talk about, uh, mostly because Media Create went uh, behind a paywall and it's a pretty significant paywall. So we don't really have numbers to play with from them anymore. But according to Fimitsu, out of Japan, the Nintendo Switch has finally crossed 8 million units to put this in perspective it is only a tad bit over thirty-three thousand units away from passing the playstation 4 and very well might do it either by the end of this month or the first week of may i say this because nintendo switch did outsell the playstation 4 by nearly thirty thousand units this week so if it can get a small bump next week compared to playstation 4 it could actually pass uh, PlayStation 4 next week, but you know, we'll wait. It might not be till the first week of May. That being said, that is a huge number, and I need to explain this for a number of reasons. Because, see, the PlayStation 4 has sold 8,033,587 units. The PlayStation 4 has been on the market now at this point for almost six years you know you got about another six months or so before we can officially say about six years so it's been on the market for a long time and in that time to sell eight million units is actually really really good uh there are systems that have done a little bit better than that obviously over the years in japan but japan has been a largely mobile gaming market for a long time so playstation 4's numbers are actually really impressive in japan uh obviously in comparison to the 100 million or so they've sold worldwide it might not sound that impressive but that's just the way it like nintendo switch you know sold 8 million here but you know they probably have 38 40 million worldwide so um again it's more impressive because a larger percentage is in japan but it's also only been on the market for two years and i think that is what makes this so impressive technically two years and about one month now if you might say oh well PlayStation 4 is not a fair comparison because, after all, Nintendo Switch has a portable aspect to it. Well, the Nintendo 3DS is at 24,402,000 units. The Nintendo 3DS released back in 2011. <laughs> really? Seriously, it's been on the market that long? Yeah, we're talking almost eight years. Eight years to hit 24,402,000. Now, now, we're not going to presume that the Nintendo Switch is going to maintain these sales for eight years years but if they did maintain for eight years the nintendo switch would be at 32 million units of course we know that's not what's going to happen and in comparison nintendo switch to 3ds they're actually on a very similar sales path in japan which is crazy to me because nintendo switch is comparing to 3ds in sales over the same time period it's about to surpass playstation 4 it's obviously already surpassed playstation vita and xbox one as you saw on the chart this is insane to me this week we're about to get the update for the lifetime sales of the Nintendo Switch uh, through March 31st of this year. Uh, we get this in, I believe, tomorrow night or Friday morning. I can't remember. One of the two. And it's going to be pretty insane to see what these numbers are. Now, we, you know, at least I expect that Nintendo is going to fall short of their 20 million goal they initially set. And Nintendo expects it as well, by the way. They readjusted their goal at their last financial meeting a few months back. And back in January, and they said, hey, look, you know, 20 million was kind of, you know, rough. We're actually aiming more for like 17 and a half. Uh, and we'll see if they end up hitting 17 and a half, which would be more than they sold in the prior fiscal year. So it's still growth. Uh, but obviously, they have a lot they could be talking about. There's a lot of upcoming games. Uh, every now and then, they talk about those games at the investor meeting. So we might have some news about games. And we'll be talking about all this on the next episode of the Nintendo Prime podcast. But I'm just sitting here looking at these numbers from this week, and I'm just. I'm in shock. I mean, we only get the top 10 now because Media Create used to give us top 20, but Famitsu only, only shows us the top 10. And still, seven of the titles in April of 2019 are Nintendo Switch. Nothing from 3DS, which, by the way, 3DS is basically falling off a, a cliff at this point, moving only a few thousand. And a couple PlayStation 4, you know, seven Nintendo Switch, three PlayStation 4. And when you look at the Nintendo Switch, there's some staying power and there's some newer games. You know, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate launched last December, still sitting at the number three spot for the entire week. Like, what? And it's moved over 3 million units already in Japan alone, making it like the best-selling Smash Bros. game in Japanese history. Nintendo Labo, the VR kit, 
You know, everyone's like, oh, that's going to fall off a cliff. Well, it's at 35,000 units, moving 9,000 units last week. So it's still selling decently well. Yoshi's Crafted World, for crying out loud. That came out at the end of last month. That moved 9,000 units too and is over 100,000 units in Japan. I'm pretty sure Nintendo considers that a pretty big success. Heck, there was a new game launched on PlayStation 4 and Switch this year. And Langrisser 1 and 2. And yeah. It sold more on PlayStation 4 because the audience for that game is more on PlayStation 4. But the Switch version, even with less Switches on the market, was only a few thousand behind PlayStation 4. That's pretty damn good. Minecraft on Nintendo Switch is well on its way to eventually passing a million units. It's still 737,000 units. Like, Minecraft. The Nintendo Switch version of Minecraft. And these are just physical sales. They don't track digital. So physical sales of Minecraft are going to be crossing 1 million at some point this year. I, what? If Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission from Bandai Namco Games, you know, that moved 8,000 as well on its way to passing 100,000 units. Obviously, you got Secure Shadow Tide Twice. That is a PlayStation 4 exclusive game that came off of From Software. That's still doing decently well there at the number 9 spot, you know, when it's moved over 230,000. But then you get to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And what's impressive, I think, about this top 10 is it's the first top 10 that I can remember where... Games from 2017 from Nintendo aren't in the top 10. Um, Splatoon 2 has been in the top 10 forever, right? Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey regularly come up in the top 10. But finally, we're starting to see that at least the games that Nintendo's getting in the top 10 are all ones that came out in the last five months. And that is good news for Nintendo because what it does mean is that they're not just selling on the backs of those 2017 titles. You know, the, the new Super Mario Brothers, the Washington... Well, you know, the Super Mario Odyssey and the Breath of the Wilds and Splatoon 2. Those are kind of like the big three. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like, for a long time, Nintendo sales were based on that. And now, finally, we're seeing Smash Bros. being a reason it's selling. The dang Labo being a reason. Like, Nintendo Labo is actually kind of doing well here. Yoshi's Crafted World Minecraft. I guess that's one that came out back in 2017. So, I guess there's one remnant. But I meant from Nintendo's side of things. Um, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. That came out, you know, in January. Granted, I know. Wii U port. Blah, 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 blah. In fact, it's listed as New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. New Super Mario Bros. U slash New L Super Luigi U. <laughs> Oh man, I love I love how the titles are technically officially listed because that is technically what the title is. Um, just it, it's amazing to me to sit back and see how well the Switch is doing in Japan. And yeah, if I had numbers for uh, North America, if I had numbers for uh, any other major countries, I'd probably talk about those too because the Switch's numbers are just impressive across the board. But you know what? I wanted to get this out and I wanted to talk about it because it's been a long time since I've really just sat back and glanced at the Japanese sales on the whole. I used to cover them every few weeks and now it's like, yeah, maybe a one-off mention in Prime News, but nothing really else. And I am, I'm just in shock. And uh, maybe you're in shock too. I don't know. Um, but I am really stoked about these sales. And we're about to get worldwide sales updates as well, which won't be as up to date as this for Japan. But we'll have a big update worldwide. And I'm expecting the sales for Switch to be a little bit higher than a lot of pundits expect. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I just can't wait to, to see those financials and see the update on the game sales. Um, I really want to, I'm really very, very curious for Super Smash Bros. I mean, it crossed 3 million in Japan. Where is it at worldwide? Are we over 10 now? Are we over 15? Uh, how, how much did Super Smash Bros. sell after its launch month? Uh, we have a lot of unanswered questions and, uh, by the end of this week, we're going to know the answers to all of them. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Ruffajance from Nintendo Prime. Uh, be sure to enter our Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Bundle giveaway through the Gleam.io link down in the description. Why don't you guys drop a like on this video as well, and I will catch all of you guys in the next video.